HTML is part of everything you see on the internet. Your emails are in HTML, and so are the calendar invites you receive and the websites you visit. When you write a blog, you might even have to enter in the HTML tags. Or at least you might see something like a Chevron B. Chevron shows up when you need to make a word bold. If you ever created a website or written a blog, you already know what HTML tags look like and how they operate. But to keep it simple, HTML is how a web page displays. It's written with tags and those tags tell a website or an app when to make a word bold or create a new paragraph or add an image. But some apps need information in plain text or have their own formatting or even use a different type of formatting like Markdown. So when you send the description of a Google Calendar invite to a Slack or Discord channel or text it to someone, they'll be stuck reading jumbled sentences with numbers and chevrons. Now that all may make sense to a computer, but to a person, it's a mess. Thankfully, Formatter has a tool specifically for removing HTML tags, and we're going to walk you through using it. My Zap already has a trigger, a new Google Calendar event, and an action, send a direct message in Slack. As in, this Zap would send me a message that's hard to read and frustrating to understand. But if I add a Formatter step between these two, I can make this description readable. I just need to select the text, transform, and remove HTML tags. Then most importantly, in my action step, I'll make sure to select the output for my formatter step, not the output from my Google Calendar. We want the cleaned up calendar invite. Now the message makes sense and at a glance, I don't have to spend time trying to figure out why there's a bunch of symbols and numbers in the middle of my sentence. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button below. And if you're new to this channel and like content like this, consider hitting the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.